Algebra 1, Unit 2B Study Guide, numbers 18, 19, and 20. So on number 18, we just need to think about and answer this question. So is 0 an answer to this compound inequality? And this is x is less than 4, but at the same time greater than negative 9. So let's put 0 in there and see if this is true. Well, yes, x or 0 is less than 4. And then I read the inequality this way. 0 is also greater than negative 9. So, yes, 0 is an answer. Now, let's work backwards and write in inequalities from the graph. So, I've got points at 3 and negative 1. Remember that x, our variable, represents the shaded area. So, now I want a positive 3 there. So since the shaded area is in between, that means it's going to be less than 3, and there's no equal to mark. So I'm not going to put a line underneath, but at the same time, greater than or equal to negative 1. Now the inequality is going to go that way because we read the inequality from the variable. So we read x is less than 3 that way, and then x is greater than or equal to negative 1. We read that one right to left. Number 20, we're going to write an inequality. Now, I know since my inequality are two separate parts that I'm going to have two separate parts here. So I'm going to say x, and this is everything that is less than negative 1. And this is x and everything that is greater than 2. And then I'm going to put that together with an or, since they are two separate graphs. This one is what we call an and inequality. We don't write the word and, but when you put the inequalities together like we did here, that implies and. So x is less than 3 and x is also at the same time greater than or equal to negative 1. This one, they can't happen at the same time, so x has to be less than negative 1, or x has to be greater than 2.